Okay, so for more 14 is finally officially released. Now, if you watch my previous video, I have run through some of the new features that they have added. So yeah, there is a lot of new features that we still have to talk about. But without further ado, let me run you through a couple of them. Okay, so firstly, by far one of the coolest and probably one of the most useful features that they have added is smart short clips. Now basically how this works is you give them a long clip and Filmora will turn it into multiple smaller clips that you can publish as shorts or reels or TikToks or whatever you want to do. So what you want to do is here when you're on your editing software, here at the bottom there will be a bunch of new features. Now here is the smart short clip. Now what you want to do is you can simply drag and drop a long clip into this software. Okay, so once I'm here and I've dragged in my clip, which is about a minute long, here you can set the language and the duration and even the theme of the video. So let's just go duration for 0 to 30 seconds. Um, the language is obviously English and let's just select that and then the theme you can do video podcasts gaming and sports marketing educational videos and commentary videos so let's go educational videos and then here is a bunch of different kind of templates that Filmora would give you of how you want to make your video like how the caption should look um, so let's just go this one and then say simply generate okay so once it is done it is actually way better than I thought so what it basically do is it gives you in my case two different videos and each video is based on another subject so it will take two subjects that I talked about in the video and compress it into a little short form that I can post. Okay, so now I'm not gonna talk about one specific feature. I'm just gonna speed run a few of the cool features from Aura 14 has added. Because trust me, there is a lot. And if I have to talk about every single one of them, this is gonna be a very long video. So firstly, we got the smart short clips where I just shared about and what I talked about and then smart scene cut which basically it can detect a face in a video and then you can only use that face or that part of the video which makes it a highlighted scene of the video and then the AI video enhancer where you can literally put in any grainy or bad or shaky footage into that and it will give you smooth and nice and graded footage back and then AI color palette is basically something you also just put your video into it and it will give you a bunch of different styles of color grades that you can apply to that clip. And then nextly is the smart BGM generation. And this is actually pretty, pretty cool. So basically what it does is it detects the vibe of your video and it makes a custom song on music depending on the style of your video. And then auto reframe is also a very useful feature. It's basically where you can put in a video and it will automatically frame it, whether it be 16 by nine or nine by 16 or one by one. It depends on what aspect ratio you want your video to be. And then planar tracking is basically like motion tracking where you can like add text to a subject. But this is basically an entire plane that it can track where you can put stuff on it as well. And then multi-camera editing is basically what it says it can do. You can give him a bunch of clips, but you can edit them at the same time with multiple angles and multiple cameras. And it's also a very useful feature. Then lastly is AI face mosaic. So this basically detects faces in your video and it adds a blur on that face. So yeah, there you have it. Those are some of the coolest features that Filmora 14 brings to the table. And I think a lot of these features Features is extremely useful especially to creators or literally anyone who's starting video editing so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one peace out